I hate the word umami. I honestly do. Not that it's a bad word, because it actually means something, and that's a pretty cool meaning. Yeah, but everybody it's uses just, it. It's just, it's overused. It really is. Good afternoon, and welcome to the Whimsy Kettle Studios. My name is Linda Arnold. I am a mostly self-taught potter who has a mild hot tea addiction. I am on a quest to either find or make the perfect teapot and then fill it with the perfect tea. Joining me on this quest is my eldest son, Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Ah, uh, hello, love. Hello, love. This is Harney and Sons Paris tea, which is, other side, a blend of black teas with natural uh, vanilla fruit and citrus flavors. Well, he just went from super excited to, I really don't want to try this. Character, a fruity black tea with a hint of lemony bergamot. It says it's enlightening, 40 to 60 milligrams of caffeine, five minutes to brew. Ugh. So we have not had good luck with um, overly scented teas, whether it be lavender or vanilla, Ooh, lemon pledge, uh, or lemon pledge, or smoke. Um, they've they've in the past given us a few problems, so this will be interesting. Uh, it is not sealed, so I guess I've had this tea before, but I don't really recall. So let's uh, let's give it a whirl. It doesn't smell that bad. No, not really. It's, I like their, their casing. They have pretty, pretty boxes. Some nice RuPaul's. We, we like their RuPaul's very much. Um, in case you're new here, anytime that we have these crystal sachets, we call them RuPaul's. Um, Cause you know, everybody needs a good sachet in their life. And RuPaul's amazing, so, you know. All right, well, we're gonna think that it's like eight ounces, because that's about what most of them, your standard, your standard ones are, is eight ounces. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Yeah. Ooh, hey Siri, stop timer. Ugh, I just got a whiff of vanilla, I'm not liking this. All right, we'll squeeze our little RuPaul's. Oh, I can't, I can't even get close to it. Oh, it hurts. The fact that I'm under caffeinated and the fact that vanilla and tea has never gone quite so great with my head Except the Good Hope Vanilla. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's uh, not looking too great so far. It's uh, it has a vanilla-y, bergamot-y smell to it, which is interesting. Excuse me. Hmm. <coughs> it has a nice color, nice caramel color to it. I'm gonna have to get a cup of water after this. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm going to leave all the thoughts to you. I just can't get past the smell right now. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Pops in my head though. Today so far, at least for me, has not been too great when it comes to teas. Um, okay. So I'm going to skip first impressions and just go into final thoughts since Spencer has uh, adjudicated himself from this yeah. tasting. Yeah. Um, it is an overwhelming bergamot taste, um, a, a vanilla-y bergamot -y taste. Um, I can't really enjoy the black tea because the bergamot's in the way. And it's, it's, it's not pungent pungent, but it tastes just like it smells. And I'm frankly not enjoying it much. Um, so if I'm rating it, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. 
Um, this is the first tea from Harney and Sons that I've had that I haven't really enjoyed. Um, love their packaging. This tea I'm not a fan of. Um, so it's going in the bad box or the limbo box? Because we still haven't exactly defined what the limbo box is. I don't know if there's a situation in which I could have this tea and enjoy it. Okay. So, unfortunately, Harney and Sons Paris are going in the bad box. That's a shame. That's I was really looking forward to this. Um, okay, well... Thanks for coming out and having a cuppa with us today. We appreciate it. Um, thanks for trying to have a cuppa with us, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, you know, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, we would totally appreciate that as well.